Yeah, I'm Sean Scully. I'm the lead administrator here in the Emerging Technologies Department, housing the VR lab and the makerspace. And I am Emily Grover. I am the assistant librarian for Rare Books at the Southwest Collection Special Collections Library. We in the Rare Books Department are planning an exhibit to go up in the fall on the history of book technology. And so for that exhibit, we need to use uh, surrogates and facsimiles of the items that we have in our collection. One of our missions as a rare book archive and library is to preserve these artifacts for um, the future. And so we have to be really mindful of the different environmental conditions such as light and heat and um, those aren't really controlled in, um, in our exhibit spaces. And so we thought it would be uh, interesting to add some dimensionality to our exhibits without uh, doing any damage to the original objects. What's very exciting is some of these objects are over 3,000, 5,000 years old. Uh, 4,000 right? 4, years, 4, years old. 4,000 years old. We've worked with more recent things, nothing necessarily thousands of years old before, uh, but it was nice, you know, if you look online, you go to the Smithsonian, things like that, they've started scanning a lot of their ancient artifacts, and it was nice to partake in a, a project here at Tech uh, where we were doing something similar. So we think of just, you know, like a book with boards and pages and you just open it a certain way, and that's a historically culturally informed form of that book technology. Other cultures um, across the world and then even through time have conceived of the book as as different in different forms. With like ancient Mesopotamian artifacts, I mean I suppose they aren't like a book in the sense of the text isn't like a story or, or um, a lot of these are like administrative documents. So cuneiform is like the oldest form of writing. They're just using the technology and resources at hand. So they use a lot of clay because there's, you know, with rivers and lots of sand, you know, it's really easy to make abundant sources of clay. And then they use uh, the river reeds as their stylus to make the wedge impressions. You know, this far back in time, you know, it reminds me of the Code of Hammurabi and, and you know, <laughs> the idea of you know, record keeping and administrative rules and then, you know, uh, also legacy, right? We're always excited to uh, work with new departments, uh, whether they're in the library or across campus or part of the community. Um, you never know what a little bit of exploration could lead to. Uh, and we have these tools and let's use them.